In this video, we're going to discuss neutralization reactions. So far, when we've been talking about acids and bases, we've mostly been looking at acids and bases one at a time, right? Looking at them in separate solutions. Now we're going to look at what happens when you combine acids and bases. That's what is called a neutralization reaction. Generally, when you combine an acid with a base, you form salt and water. These reactions, you should know, are always exothermic. So anytime you take a solution of acid and you combine it with a solution of base, if you feel the test tube or container holding the mixture, you can feel warmth, essentially heat being emitted from the neutralization reaction. Now, a common question you might get in the MCAT about neutralization is calculating the concentration of an acid or base or the volume of an acid or base necessary for complete neutralization. Now, complete neutralization means you have added equal quantities of acid and base, so they completely cancel out and you're left with only the salt and water. You can do that calculation using this equation, NaVaCa is equal to MbVbCb. N refers to the equivalence of hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions per acid or base molecule. For instance, hydrochloric acid, HCl, would have an equivalent of, of N equals 1, right? For every HCl molecule, you get one hydrogen ion. If you consider a diprotic acid, like sulfuric acid or carbonic acid, they would have an N of 2 because for each sulfuric acid or carbonic acid molecule, you get two hydrogen ions. The same is true for bases. So some bases will give you one hydroxide per molecule, others will give you two hydroxides per molecule. V is the volume of the acid and base, and C is the concentration of the acid or the base. Let's take a look at an example to see how this works. Here, the question is, what volume of 2 molar hydrochloric acid is needed to completely neutralize 50 milliliters of a 0.3 molar calcium hydroxide solution? So to do this calculation, we can start first by writing out the equation NaVaCa is equal to NbVbCb. All right, so we want to calculate the volume of the acid. So we want to solve for VA. So let's rearrange the equation to isolate VA, which will give us VA is equal to NB VB CB over NACA. All right, now we can start plugging in some of these values. So NB, this is the equivalence for the calcium hydroxide solution. In this case, NB is going to be equal to 2 because we have two hydroxide molecules per calcium hydroxide molecule. Volume of the base, they told us we have 50 milliliters of the calcium hydroxide. Concentration of the base, they tell us is 0.3 molar. And this is going to be divided by Na, so the equivalence for HCl, we said for each HCl molecule we have one hydrogen ion. So here Na is going to be equal to 1. We want the concentration of A. So the concentration of A they told us is 2 molar. So we can go ahead and plug in here 2 molar. And now we just essentially have to do the calculation. So the nice thing here is you can see that in terms of the units, the molars are going to cancel out. So that's going to leave us with units of milliliters, which is exactly what we're looking for. So here the 2 and the 2 cancel out, so we're just doing 50 times 0.3. And that's going to give us 15 milliliters. So that would tell us for this question, we want 15 milliliters of a 2 molar HCl solution in order to completely neutralize 50 milliliters of 0.3 molar calcium hydroxide.